especially if you're shopping with multiples. Whew, I was so close to a meltdown. No, no, no. Sus! It's an expensive toilet paper, too. Come on. God bless you. No. Girl. You know you're not allowed to touch that. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl. Bye bye. She loves her daddy. I'm a concierge. I'm, try I'm trying to figure out how to control the fan in the back. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Anyways, good morning. Mama and I are going thrifting today. We're going to do some back to school shopping. I took the girls yesterday to the outlet. So we were there for three full hours. That's a lot of shopping. It was a lot for me mentally because I haven't been to the mall in so long. And even if we did go to the mall, we would just go for something specific. So going there and just aimlessly shopping, at least we got new shoes, which was the most important on the list. And then they got, um, um, and then they got a bunch of clothes at the Gap, but we still need to get more clothes because like I said before, a lot of their clothes are just way too small. We haven't shopped in about two years. As always, I let the girls pick their own shoes. And this is a transition period for Juliana for sure because usually she just gets like the sneakers, but this year she wanted something totally different. First she was looking at Timberlands and I'm like, who is this girl? Like, I never even had a pair of Timberlands. She ended up getting Doc Martens because the Timberlands were too big. They didn't have her size. But it was so cute. It is so cute on her. And she's so excited to style it. She's definitely going to be a fashionista. No. Yeah, right. Three hours yesterday at the mall. Oh. And I saw Dad there. <laughs> Did Dad tell you? Dad, uh, Dad's card is not in his wallet. Oh, and then, yeah, so he told I told me. him. How about your garage? No, daddy will. Oh. Also. Uh, and then he said that, do you know who used the card? I said, I know it's you. And then he he believed that it's him <laughs> who paid. So, and then I, I just really can't remember. I told him to call me. Oh, uh, to cancel the card? Right away. Oh, jeez. So, okay, in three days they said that it's going to be here. So my bag fell up, turned upside down, and then I saw the card. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's okay. I just want to make sure that. Uh, Better safe than sorry. I know. Good morning, mom. Morning. Our first stop, the Goodwill. On to the next. We have one more thrift store, and then maybe we can do lunch. You don't want to do um, Value Village? I, I thought we we're gonna go to Rose. Rose first. Ayaw mo nang bag na dinampot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was ugly. How cute is this? Little strawberries. I think this was only $13, $13 or $14 at the Goodwill. I wish I would have gone thrifting sooner or even just gone to Raw sooner because I found the best deals. And wait, there were just so many more options for the kids. So I'm going to go with Goodwill first. Hi, the JB. Juliana, look what I found. She has these shorts, but what they're too small on her now. She would wear these with leggings. So she would wear like leggings I... underneath and it's so cute. Actually, last time it was too loose. So now it fits perfectly now. Oh, it does? Yeah, now that's way too loose. Okay, well, you're gonna wear this next year. <laughs> <laughs> so what Goodwill does, it shows a date from when it came in. And this is new. This came in on the 14th. This just came in less than a week ago. 
JB, I thought you would love this. Going into fall, I have a lot of flannel. I, love it. I had something like that, except I didn't like the color. I like that. Yeah, well, this one is yours, and then I got your sister's flannel as well. Look at these cool shorts. Oh, and I have the hood? How cute is this? Leo, where are you going? Don't escape. Look at these shorts. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all i'll be back later Four hours later i'm back so i got a bunch of jeans for this year when we went shopping yesterday it was raining so it was the first time i asked the girls hey can you guys dress up or put on some jeans because it's raining right away they were like oh I hate jeans, it's uncomfortable. And that's because of this full year of shorts and leggings. So that was their clothes. It was just play clothes for an entire year. My kids like high rise, they don't feel comfortable. I mean, I don't think they're even low rise, they're just like regular rise. I tried to find the high rise jeans. I got a few of those. Yeah, they were all under 10 bucks. Like these. These are cute Bermuda shorts. I loved Bermuda shorts when I was a kid. Found some cute clothes for Leah. A lot of Cat and Jack. Oh, this is a top for the girls. This one was only $5. How cute is this? This little shark jumper. It was only $3. More flannel tops for the girls. Oh, Abercrombie and Fitch for five bucks. A long sleeve. This one's Cat and Jack for $6 another cat and jack dress i remember the girls had a dress like this it was more of a salmon pink they wore it forever because it's um it's kind of like a maxi dress and then we stopped by ross and i pretty much got the rest of their school clothes so i got a lot of stuff some more jeans i made sure to get jeans that weren't too thick they're more like jeggings they're pretty much set for jeans for the rest of the year still got some leggings some really soft ones these were cute ones for under ten dollars how much like seven bucks mia and kira were fighting over this leopard print realistically i mean they could share it oh my gosh this top is adorable and it also has the puffs on the shoulders totally my vibe some more tops for the girls i found out just yesterday that juliana prefers the toned down colors or the more muted more neutral colors so she said she likes black and she likes this sage green which i think is in right now i saw this top that was so cute it has a little tie in the front and i thought this would look perfect with jeans and her Doc Martens because homegirl is fancy like that. And then I got some clothes for Leah. How cute is this one? This is from Lucky Brand for $7. I got her a little swimsuit. Oh, this one is for this fall and winter, a Puma tracksuit. That is friggin' cute. This Tahari baby bodysuit. <laughs> Cute with pants. I love this color. It's so pretty. And this is another cute set, Nautica. I must say, this was much more enjoyable today shopping by myself or with my mom rather than shopping with all the kids because it's quite stressful. You know, shopping as a teenager, I would be out and then you would see the moms and they'd be so like over it oh you could tell moms had such a short fuse shopping with their kids, especially if you're shopping with multiples. Whew. I was so close to a meltdown, but that's when I was like, okay guys, it's time to go. Anyways, I'm glad we're done school shopping. I think the only thing we have left are jackets. I usually get their jackets at Costco because they always come out with the best ones. Lightweight, keeps them warm. It's also affordable. The only downside is that half the school has that same jacket. So we'll see, we'll see. I think they still fit some of their jackets from last year. Anyways, I need to take off all these tags and start washing. We got sushi, hot dog breads, sourdough with a piece of hot dog, cheese. <laughs> yeah, Leah's already getting started on that. She loves her meat. This is a um, marienda, or as I like to say, first dinner. Between three and seven, sometimes eight. What do you eight. mean first dinner? Well, we usually have two dinners in this We're house. We're gonna eat synagogue later. Sometimes we don't have lunch. We just have two dinners, two dinners. <laughs> because we're just always busy and doing things. Literally, this is the first time I'm eating today. Really? Yeah. You should eat them. I did not. Yeah, I'm hungry. How's that bread, little one? I need water. Okay.
Be out, be out, be out. He's like, don't worry, I got it. Yeah, that's yours. Yummy. said we could use a pepper plant leaves for the synagogue we've got uh, some jalapenos here those leaves I don't know like they look good to me we'll pick some mama for years I guess has been stealing our pepper plant leaves and peppers I didn't even know I don't mind because I would have never ate the leaves number one and two she usually puts it into food that we eat I like it because it's a great way to use part of the plant that you wouldn't. Probably gonna get some nutrients that I wouldn't normally get into my diet. One day, my dream is to have a garden big enough to where I almost don't need to go to the farmer's market. I still will. You know it'd be awesome if I had my own stand? That'd be pretty dope. See, one thing I love about Mama in terms of food, a lot, I love, I love a lot of things about Mama but she teaches me things that I would probably never find out. Even if I watch YouTube videos, most people, because it's younger people making the videos, they don't talk about this. In fact, I don't think, I probably could have lived the rest of my life never ever eating this little leaf. And that's what you learn when you read old cookbooks or you have a mom, like mama, to teach you these things. That's why I really value the wisdom of people that have lived a lot longer. I think that'll be good. What do you think? <laughs> just put it in at the end. <laughs> That's it? Well, I didn't want to kill the plant. Oh, so mom said just use that, huh? Yeah. Like for flavor or? No, it's just more vegetables. Oh, well we got, we got greens for that. Well, okay, just put well, it I in mean, anyways. I bet it's authentic, okay? Okay. Very authentic. Okay. We put, Four different pork chop bones. Yeah. Did the pork chop? Oh, actually, no. There were no bones in the other one. Just in that one, right? Yeah. Hey, mommy, I love the ink glass, mommy. Good. I don't normally do this, but the daikon tastes spoiled, which is so weird because I've never had that issue before. So I'm gonna pull them all out. As long as you're looking at stuff that is oh, yeah, like going to help your um, learning, 
or editing because that's what the JB does. She's learning. Or you can just watch it on here. Mommy, can you please post them? But if they say bad words, I am not going to be happy. I might oh, ban maybe, YouTube altogether. Maybe, um, said bad words. What? Which one? When you watch YouTube. Well, they said, oh my God. Okay, well, that's going to be okay. Really, that's okay. But if they say, like, remember that B word that I told you about earlier? Or if they say just words, like, really bad words, you would know. But see, mommy, can you please, here, I'll just help. Tell me when to stop, okay? Thank you. Um, mommy, you eat eating food from the fall. I can't see, so you eating green from the fall. Oh, she's eating green beans, that's fine. She spit that out of her mouth, threw it, it, and then she refound it. Oh, your iPad. You want me to do both? What's the key to anything? 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 Look at my face. Okay, floor is clean. I'm scared to look on top of your dressers. What is this, you guys? We will. Doesn't this belong in the crayon bin downstairs? What is Leah doing? Is she helping? Put this in the Lego bin. You know what though? It's it is very clean. And what's going on over there? Atemia. Watch where you're going, boo boos. What? Oh, 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 that's oh my gosh, Leah, don't do that. Slowly you going closer this? to the baby's face. Can I help fold laundry? Where did you ah. find this, mommy? I just ate day old mambo dofu, which okay. is a tofu pork dish. Judy has cooked maybe three or four times in her life. And I had the same satisfaction as if I was at a Chinese or Japanese what? restaurant. My mind was blown. I, I couldn't even really concentrate on the show, the documentary I was watching, because seriously, it was delicious. And that was old tofu, by the way, that I insisted she used before okay, it went bad. it wasn't old. It was like the expiration date was like a week. And you know, I mean, but I was I was the one that reminded you, right? Yeah, thank okay. you. To be Thanks fair, to reminder. be fair. When I first started dating Judy, she did not know how to cook a lot. I still ate her food, never complained, never really said anything that much. Judy's got the instinct. She has a cooking Aww, instinct thanks. and it's from I mean, seriously, she didn't even look at a recipe to cook this mabadofu, which is mind-blowing i was even critiquing her i was like maybe you should add some soy sauce which she finally eventually did i told her put some chicken stock which she did but for the most part it was her own recipe from her own brain just going off of feel and experience and it was so good well i'm glad that you eat it well thank you the reason honestly though the reason why i haven't really cooked as much huh? is because I know how critical you are, and even though you say you aren't, I see it in your eyes. Every time you see me cook, you're like, you stare, and then well, you make a little comment, and it really irks me. That's why I'm telling Judy right now, and anyone watching this, that <laughs> just give it time. If you want to learn how to cook. I mean, I just prefer you not be in the kitchen when I cook. When you cook, and you're not that good, just know over time, you get better, and I think, for me, it's a passion. I love to cook. I enjoy it. Judy, I think she just wants to cook something amazing for the girls. You don't know who I am. And she has. Okay. You don't know who I am. She's cooking 10 out of 10. 
foods, <laughs> recipes that she doesn't even need to look at directions or instructions. I was like, I was just eating, and I had already eaten. America's quarter, they thought it. I don't even know what she said. Hopefully that inspires you to start cooking. Know that you don't even have to try to get better to be better at cooking. You just have to practice a lot. I think that's how it is with anything in life. But, honey. What is going on? Isn't Leah sleeping right now? Huh? Honey, seriously? That was one of the best I've ever had. Oh, thank you. I'm a spy. Okay, we heard you. I just want to food that will last at least two days. Honey, mind blown. Thank you. Mind blown. That was so good. <laughs>